Hey guys, it's Rudy with Aquatic Facility Training and Consultants. How are you? I uh, wanted to stop in. I got a phone call earlier today. Somebody asked me a question about the uh, vacuum DE filters, wanting to know exactly how much diatomaceous earth that uh, they should be adding every time they clean this out, which is a great question because they see travel about. And folks aren't you always using the right amount, they're actually falling a little bit short. A lot of folks do, don't get me wrong, but there are folks here and there that, that aren't using enough, at least, uh, and you know what? The amount actually does seem like it, it's probably too much. But, so we're gonna go through that. Um, again, aquatic facility training and consultants, that's me. But how much diatomaceous earth? That's the question. So we have these grids, these round grids, right? So they're 19 inches in diameter. Those are the common ones we use in Florida. So we know that filters are measured in square foot of surface area, but diatomaceous earth, we also add that based off of how many square foot of surface area we have in the filter. So if I have a 19 inch grid and I wanna figure out what the surface area is, I can run through the whole measurement at 19 inches, but then somewhere along the lines, I need to remember that there's 144 square inches uh, in a square foot, and I really don't want, I don't, I don't want to. So I'm just gonna convert it to feet right off the bat. So the way we convert inches to feet, we divide by 12 because there's 12 inches in a foot. So 19 divided by 12, I end up with 1.58 feet. So that's my diameter. It's a circle, these grids are circular, so I need to calculate the surface area, and to calculate the surface area of a circle, we use pi r squared. Remember back in uh, high school, they said you were gonna need that one day? Well, that's today. So 19 inches across becomes 1.58 feet in diameter, so radius is equal to one half the diameter, right? half the distance across this element. So it's again, it's circular. So pi r squared is what we're shooting for. The formula there is radius by radius by 3.14. Pi is always 3.14. For any circular um, surface area measure you need to do, you're always gonna need to use pi, but what's gonna change is the radius and the radius will change based off of the diameter. So here we're at 0.792, so we multiply that radius by radius by 3.14. So it's 0.792 by 0.792. Then we multiply that by the 3.14 and we end up with 1.97 square foot of surface area on one side of my grid. But guess what? My grid's got two sides. So what we need to do now is we need to multiply that number by two so I can figure out how much surface area I have in total. So one grid, 19 inches, and that is the common size that you'll see um, in these vacuum DE filters. It's one grid is 3.94 square foot of surface area. Then we just multiply that by the number of grids we have to get the surface area of our filter, our filtration area. So so let's say we have 12 grids, because then, you know, this is really just gonna be case by case on each situation. So what you should do is just calculate that number or multiply that number by the number of grids you have. I'm just gonna use 12 for the example. So I'm gonna take the 3.94 square foot of surface area that I have for one grid. I'm gonna multiply that by my 12 grids, and I come up with a total filter area of 47.28 square feet that the accepted measure is 1.25 pounds, so one and a quarter pounds of diatomaceous earth for every 10 square foot of filter area. I need to then figure out how many times I have 10 square foot of filter area. So 47.28 divided by 10, I end up with 4.728. So I have 10 square foot of filter area 4.728 times, right? If I take that number and multiply it by my one and a quarter pounds, for my diatomaceous earth, I would see then that I actually need 5.91 pounds of DE every time I clean out that vertical grid system, or excuse me, vacuum DE system. Don't know why I keep saying vertical grids. Anyway, so every time I clean out the vacuum, the vacuum DE filter, I'm gonna need, um, in this scenario where I have 12 grids, I'm gonna need 5.91 pounds. Now, here's the thing, one DE scoop actually only holds a half a pound of diatomaceous earth. You're gonna need two of those for every pound. The math behind that, 5.91 divided by 0.5, you can see we need 11.82 scoops every single time. 
Now here's where this gets easy because I could have just done all this in the first place and saved all the math, but that actually works out to um, just one scoop per grid. So there's your answer. There's the simplified version anyway. If you're using 19 inch grids, one scoop of DE for every grid. And then of course we mix that into a slurry when we pour it in and go through the pre-coat before we start operation. Um, anyway, I'm Rudy. This is Aquatic Facility Training Consultant. Thank you, and I look forward to catching you guys in class.